Duke Luca Abel tore down the original palace in Karnaka, where his father once pinned a medal to my chest. Over the ruins, the Duke built a structure that cost enough to feed everyone in Circonos for years. A sprawling estate to humble all others, a monument to his ego. I owe it to the people of my homeland to make this right. In Dunwall, we were content to look the other way as long as the silver kept flowing. I've got to get inside the Grand Palace, deal with the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. Deserve peace, my love. I have stayed too long. Find a last spirit. Trap her with this cage of dead flesh. Set me free. I don't understand. You will very soon. Yes, I regret my affiliation with the young Duke, but his father and I were close. It was my hope that Luca would eventually grow up and learn that his actions as ruler of Sirkonos have very real consequences. <laughs> he could always count on the backing of Dunwall's finances and navy. Maybe without that, he would have developed a healthy respect for the people of Sirkonos. Fear of the Executioner's block has been a fine motivator for many a ruler. Once the Duke falls, it's my hope that we can build something better here. Something more representative and inclusive. Are you ready for this? I've broken into palaces before. They're made to keep out armies. Stopping a single man who's dedicated to his cause, that's another story altogether. Getting inside might not be the hard part. The Duke doesn't exactly run a tight ship. Taking down Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. I've got a map of the Grand Palace for you, and I know something that may be useful. There's a hidden lever in the pantry that opens a passage to the Duke's vault. If he's keeping anything precious for Delilah, I suspect that's where it'll be. Beyond that, good hunting. I'll see what I can do. I know things in Karnaka are fragile. Emily and I have a lot to think about after all this is done. I hope I've been of some help to you. It's good to feel useful, here near the end of my time. Look at you. You've aged better than most, Royal Protector. I hear the Duke's wine cellar is exquisite, if you happen to pass through. I remember when you took me from Caldwin's Bridge so long ago. <clears throat> it's not widely known, but the Duke has a body double. The man is the spitting image of Luca. A likable fellow, and quite humble. I have no idea what they found him, but the Duke's double has spent years passing for the Duke. I suppose Luca always hoped his double would be there to take an assassin's bullet. Take care. I hope to see you again. Hmm? 
Now that things have changed, Stilton might be able to make a difference after the Duke falls. I hope Paolo can revive the spirits of the people in Karnaka. As much as I hate to say it, Karnaka needs a man like Byrne. I guess Duca Bell felt all right tearing down the old palace. I have fond memories of that place. Empress Jessamine herself once offered me a suite at Dunwall Tower, complete with a laboratory, the finest apparatus in the Isles. I declined, of course. I'm not some conjurer from penny novels. Besides, I have a great fondness for my privacy, and my interests often find me coming and going in the odd hours of night. It's hard not to consider what might have been different had I plotted a different course than my early years. Was there something I might have said or done when Delilah was my apprentice that could have prevented all of this? Or his character a fixed star we must all follow in darkness. Now we're going after the one who started it all. The Duke himself. I forgot the thrill of it. Planning drop-off points, and picking the approach. Thinking about the best ways to kill somebody who lives behind high walls. But with the excitement, there's a black echo that comes back to me for what I did at Dunwall Tower. If anyone deserves killing, though, it's Duke Luca Abel. I've loved a number of women, and even a couple of men. But I've never loved anyone like my Deirdre. After I left home, those first years on the streets, she's all that kept me from the bottom of the river. I could sleep on a pile of garbage under a leaky awning as long as she was there with me. Sharing a tin of potted meat or a bottle of brandy. We nicked during the day. The Duke and his little brother came through Dunwall. And Deirdre and I got in their way as they stepped out of their fancy coach. The Duke goaded his brother, calling us wharf roaches. And it was the brother who swung the stick that killed her. Splitting her skull, there were wooden gazelles on top of the coach. And I snapped one off and drove it into his eye as deep as it would go. Deirdre was already gone. Dead as a doornail. Lying in the muck, staring up at the gray Dunwall sky. On the run after that. I was hunted by the City Watch and even members of the Grand Guard up from Zirkonos. People looked at me like I was cursed, spitting whenever I got close. Everyone knew I'd bring trouble. Even the gangs. The Duke's brother has been dead for a long time. But now was my chance to get back at Luca Abel for setting him off against pretty, young Deirdre. Nothing was the same for me after they took her away. Ready to visit the Duke. Let's go. The Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, 
if that helps. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job, pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. Why don't they just overthrow him? He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crap. There were parties like that in Dunwall. Toadies sucking up to Emily made me want to be back on the streets in Circonos. You're forgetting what that's like. I watched those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you struggled. After years of court, I'm a nobody again. But what I've seen here will stay with me when I return to Dunwall Tower. Being in Karnaka again has given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. Sorry if I sound bitter. Don't turn your back on the Duke. After we leave Karnaka, there are some things we need to talk about. Things I feel remorse over. I know not everyone who lives in a great palace is a snake. But it's real easy to get accustomed to eating off silver plates. If you figure out which one is the Duke's double, you might want to see what he knows. You wouldn't believe it. But I could have ended the Duke a long, long time ago. Wish I had now. If something happens and you don't make it back, I might have a go at Duke Abel. When this is done, we leave Karnaka at once. I won't be sorry to leave this city. I've done all I can here. I've earned what I've got. Even the scars. Especially the scars. Take care of yourself. We'll be there when you're ready. Catches on to us, or maybe rightful owners coming to pick it up. What's the delay getting it to the shop? Better you afraid we'll get caught? The guy that runs the shop is nervous. But if they just let us move it straight off the boat. Now, I got a friend over at the shop. Been running protection for black market shops for years here in Karnaka and over Karnaka. So there's basically no risk. What's your friend's name? Uh -uh. That's a secret. These guys deal with me and nobody else. Job security. Another day like yesterday, and I think I'll give it up for good. Better off in the void. Hey, you. 
You seem different. Can you help me out with a bit of coin? You're a good one. You know, there's a place near here, in some rocks behind a fountain. People have always left offerings there. That's where I started having those odd dreams. I don't go there anymore, but you might want to check it out. I used to live here a long time ago. Can you believe it? I was a songwriter. Poet. I used to have such visions. Dreams of black oceans and whales in the sky overhead. Sorcery, they said. They burned my books and they hit me in the head until there were no more visions. See you sometime. See what you've got. No outside is crap. We're getting somewhere. Yes. Ah, oh, no, no, you bastard. change. The Duke's given the Grand Guard leeway to create new fees when needed. You know who else had a nice shop? That clockmaker. Serafina? Her shop burned down. Yeah, my report said it was probably the Howlers. But no one knows how the fire started. Captain, her brother died in that fire. Asleep inside, drunk from what I remember. You've got until tomorrow to pay up. We're playing dice tonight.
feel free to browse my offerings. I am proud to say we are still open and fully stocked despite the recent incidents at other shops. The shopkeepers don't stand a chance in the city. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Please come in. So big. Thank do I. At least I have a job, which is more than you can say. A deal well made. Very good. A pleasure to do business. This is what I have for. Upgrading your and his father before him. <laughs> Come back soon, if I'm still around. It's either you have the code or I assume something's off. My boss is going. See what this says. This whole setup is a huge pain in the ass. Timing windows that ignore the tides, fake boat manifests, and private. 
even door codes. Might be easier just to play it straight, pick up and deliver goods. Anyway, so I don't forget it, the code for the black market shop is Sir Conan wine is better than Tibian prisons. Idiot. People here see you sometimes. Uh, oh no, you, you bastard! Sir Conan wine is better than Tivian prisons. And better Crystallian clap than Morellian gout. All right. This is the kind of luck I have, guarding blasted me. How well.
path. Make sure bad. things like this don't happen. Haven't seen the kids in two years. Ugh. I'm hungry. On the bright side. The pay is better here than anywhere else, and we get to do the job how we see fit. Nobody's pestering us with forms and procedures anymore. We collect the fees we want and give out the beatings when they're needed. I just don't want my kids growing up here. It's too dangerous. Then reapply next month. The command staff changes constantly. New officers, new rules. And spread a few coins here and there among the officers. swimming. I was good, you know. Some of us used to give lessons at Adamire, back when it was open to the public. Different city in those days. Didn't know that. Man, you sure had a lot of different jobs. Guess so. I don't miss brining hagfish. Hands in salt all day, nails bleeding, choking on the factory air. At least when you joined the Grand Guard, you got a really soft position near the palace. You might change your mind about that after you've been here a while. Sometimes the Duke's friends do some strange shit. Really? Like what? One night, someone up there decided it'd be funny to throw down food at us. I got hit in the face with a pineapple. Then a whole roasted pig came down and split the boat in half. It was raining apples and meat pies. All sorts of nice food floating around in the water. Damn, people in the city starving. Life's just not the same when you live up there, is it?
soul is familiar to me. You're not losing your nerve, I hope. No, not at all. But how do you know which one is the Duke? I don't know where they found that guy with the political decoy job. But he looks and acts just like the Duke. I can't tell him apart. There are subtle differences. All right. Assuming you can pick out Duke Luca, how are we going to get his key? You leave that to me. Who knows what he's got in that vault. We'll be halfway to Gristal and rich before he's nursing the next day's hangover. It's a good plan, the way this place is run. Are you sure he always keeps the key with him? I'm sure. We'll do it tomorrow night when there's only one squad scheduled for patrol. Just be ready. The palace. Maybe I can find another way to neutralize the Duke. You know who's assigned to protect the Duke's quarters tonight? Nope. As long as it's not me, I don't care. It was never any fun. I'm not sure it's worse, the Duke or his body double. One's half likely to have you flogged for looking at him wrong. The other might just bore you to death. The whole family stung to death. Ugh, so disfigured. Blood fly nests all around them. Horrible. Oh, yes. Someone's got to give. What's wrong with me? What would you say to some unusual gossip over dinner? Count me in. Oh. Damn it. That's what I want. Spittles. At least I'm not one of them. Exactly. And think, when all this fighting over thrones is settled, the Duke's going to need men to take charge in the Northern Isles. By this time next year, you could be in charge of Windown or Freeport. Where even the most desirable have skin like pale slugs. That's what the brandy's for. each day, but at least I read them, which is more than he can say. No offer to bow or kiss my hand. I'm not that kind of visitor. A mystery. Let's have it then. Who are you and what do you want? 
You're the Duke's double, aren't you? I'm here to take him down, but I might need your help. Do you want to listen to what I have to say? All right, you've figured it out. But if you're not here to assassinate the Duke, what do you want? I have no doubt that you'd be a more agreeable Duke than Luca Abel. If I wanted to depose him without having to cut out his heart, could you convince people that you are the Duke? That's bold, I have to admit, it's crossed my mind. If people believed that I was actually Duke Abel, and that he was the political decoy, we could have him committed for lunacy. We could convince everyone that the Double's finally lost his mind, and believes he's the Duke. I spent years perfecting my performance. But there's a catch. He's got a medallion that I need. Even if I sound convincing, which should be the easy part, his Grand Guard officers will ask to see the medallion as proof. Luca never puts it aside. All right. It shouldn't take me long. Once it's done, I'll be leaving the city. Soon after, I'll send instructions from Dunwall, and I'll expect a great deal of flexibility and cooperation on your part. There's still time to pull Sir Konos back from the edge of the cliff. We can undo the damage Duke Abel has inflicted. I'd like that. But I'll guide Sir Konos in the ways I see fit for the people here, not as the hand-chosen puppet of your empire. If you agree with that, just render the Duke unconscious and bring him to his chambers. I'll handle the rest. is settled. The Duke's going to need men to take charge of the Northern Islands. By this time next year, you could be in charge of me now. Hopefully not. Well, even the most desirable have skin like pale slugs. That's what the brand is for. Do you 
and enjoy a quiet moment on the balcony with a cigar. The most of all men who love, but she was identified as a risk. We never saw her again. It sickens his spirit, seeing such riches squander. He looks up at the statues and wonders whether anyone will remember him. In nightmares, assassins come for him. He begs them to see the truth. See how besides, his life is a gilded cage. I was thinking about his walk. The way he dresses and speaks, everything must appear correct. wrong with people. The bath's too cold. My vest has a wrinkle. Who is this self that is going to be so bleeding perfect? Of course, the Duke kept some of the clockwork soldiers for himself. some detection without certainty. Uh, Kieran, sir, we were confused by your most recent response. The Duke was, well, he was furious. He sent me to interview you about your progress. One of the maids took me for a walk. We dug beetles in the park with shiny green shells. I don't understand, Mr. Jindosh. Working with Anton Sokolov, were you successful at lowering the cost of clockwork soldier production? The Duke is expecting a reduction of 80 to 90 percent, based on your own estimates. She let me keep a few of them in a jar. I pulled off their legs. Ah, uh, that's interesting. Let me remind you, as Grand Inventor, you've been given everything you requested. 
But with that comes a responsibility for deadlines. An expectation of progress? Wait, I remember the undertaking you're talking about now. Yes, yes. Excellent. So what can I tell the Duke? I had a visitor, I think. Or maybe they came for Sokolov. It's hard to recall the details. Anton wouldn't help, but I was close to finding a way to... The, the difference engine is inscribed in copper along the concave surface of the inner head mechanism. But wait. Uh, I can't. It, it slips away. The beetles we found today, I'm going to give them all names. This is useless. What am I going to tell Duke Luca? to be on the Duke's payroll. Machines and new ideas. We eat the finest foods and we're guests in the Grand Palace. The old woman living in the alley behind my apartment died the other night, did I tell you? The Grand Guard took her yarn shop, thanks to one of the Duke's new decrees, and her drinking well was tainted. That's why you don't get invited to half the parties I attend. Such gloomy thoughts. We've been playing every day for weeks now. All of this to entertain a statue? Someone said the Duke believes Empress Delilah can talk to him through the statue. Well, if he's trying to pull off some witchcraft love trick, he's doing it wrong. And I can't feel my fingertips anymore. Uh -huh. I'm hungry. You could only see this. Wasteful expense, wanton flesh. And such terrible wines. At least he knew better than to serve Tivian with hangfish. Joke if you want to. Our new duke spends more in one month than his father spent in a year. Old Theodana Sabelle was tight with the coin. Why worry? When the war is done, we'll have it back tenfold in tribute. This is the Circonian age, my friend. The age of Luca Abelli. Enjoy it. The old duke. The old duke was wise. Yes, the old duke was careful. But the new duke dragged the empress off her throne and gave us the isles. So tell me, who's the better man? Just do I a don't game of cards. 
What would you do if you were the Duchess of Circonos, or some other ruler? The Queen of Morley, or even the Empress? More of what I already do. Screwing, eating fine meals, smoking the best haberweed. And when I wasn't doing that, I'd be buying exotic furniture from Tivia, having my apartments redecorated. So you wouldn't really change much? Uh, no, of course not. What's the point of having power if you can't just do whatever you want? What's wrong? I need new boots. Just don't fit. What's wrong with you? Eat some bad fish? Someone else's time. The Riverside drains. Just gone. Taken away from under their noses. Idiots. He's nothing like, like his, his father. father. Another tedious meeting. Endless complaints from Myers about the conditions below. He signs the papers to hurry things along, barely glancing at them. Oh, how his writing ahead cramps. His brother died on the dirty streets of Dunwall. Struck down in his youth. He never earned those medals. 
and twice the soldier. Did I close my locker before Don't coming out? Say something. Leave me. I want to be alone with my thoughts. Someone left a hagfish in my jacket pocket. Ugh. This opens the Duke's vault. That's it then. Now it's up to me. I'll take the medallion and call them. I'll be watching. Break a leg. <laughs> Don't worry. I've spent years mimicking this asshole. Captain Almeida, come at once to my chambers. There's a problem. Quick, hide up there. Please arrest this clown. Seems that he took his role a little too seriously. Get your hands off me. Poor man. He served me well for years. We'll never find anyone else who so bears my resemblance. Take him away, Captain. But be gentle. I think I understand, Your Eminence. We'll handle it. What? This is outrageous. I'll have you all skinned alive and set in a salt bath. If only there were something we could do for him. I suppose all those years pretending it was me. That eventually took its toll. No! Stop! I am the Duke of Sercurus! You can't do this! Dr. Hypatia at Atomeyer will know what to do with the poor man. trying to get my head around this. It's incredible. People of Karnaka, this is Corvo Atano, royal protector for your rightful ruler, Empress Emily Caldwin. I'm here in the city of my birth to set things right with the Duke of Circonos, Luca Abel, who has of late been deceived by the pretender to the imperial throne, Delilah Copperspoon. Duke Abel and I are old friends, and in his heart he is a loyal ally and servant to the Empire. I am Sir Conan, and your blood flows through my veins. I will leave you and return to Dunwall, but know this. We have parleyed and the Duke now understands the crisis in full. My hope is to restore your true Empress to the throne with haste. I bid you farewell, and ask you to maintain your faith and loyalty to the Empire.
twice what we met here. Weeks of puking up hard tack on his ship just to freeze your ass off in some northern port? Besides, we make more here in Karnaka with on the spot taxes and fees. Uh, maybe. It is nice having discretionary jurisdiction here. <laughs> Less paperwork. But think about it no blood flies, no howlers. You don't think they have gangs up in Tivia? It's dark by half the year up there. Trust me, you're better off here. keeps hidden away in here. This is the thing Ashworth made to hold Delilah's spirit. My dear Empress, star of my sky. Although your eyes, your hands, your heart, my last thought. That it's done. Now it's time to return. To my, my half sister, only her flesh remains. Maybe Delilah's spirit was holding it together. She seems gone at last, faded into nothing. Her reward is peace. You will never gain back what you lost here. She gave you her heart, and you threw it into the void. I had it to two impossible places at once. A prison of dead flesh, after a prison of bones. You will take me back and die at my hands. Old 
Blood scars run deep, don't they, Luca? You won't see any whales this far south. They like the colder, deeper water. We get a few, but not today. Besides, I'm more interested in the occasional boat, or maybe catching a glimpse of something going on at Adermeyer. This is the life, isn't it? Being a friend of the Duke's has its advantages. My mother's old money. So, to tell you the truth, it's the only life I've known. The last time? No. Oh, yes. Are you all right? What's the matter? It's probably just a lie. She could be reading the letter right now. Uncertainty. That should do it. So, is that it? The fall of Karnaka? The Duke's had a change of heart. Things are shifting. Back to the dreadful whale, then, and on toward Dunwall. It looks that way. To find a way to help Emily, and to give her back the throne. Ready, then? I'm ready if you are. All right. As you want. Thank you. 